What's up, tech heads and gamers? It's your boy Melo E to the Z to the E. So today we're going to be looking at the Pixel C tablet from Google. Now this tablet came out um, December of when was it? 2015, I think. So it's just over a year old. Um, and people are wondering, like with Chromebooks and stuff, should you get this tablet? Um, personally, I will give you my opinion, but personally, I just want to say that as a tablet, this is by far one of the best tablets that you can get right now, um, for your money. But as for a productivity de device, like a tablet, like a device that can give you a good multimedia experience and also that allows you to be productive, like the... Um, Microsoft Surface Pro and you know the current Chromebooks right now with the Samsung Chromebook Plus and Pro is this worth having compared to those and that's what this is all about I'm gonna let you guys know what my personal opinion is about that so to get started this is a beautiful device tap see it light up it's light right there in the <coughs> this sorry <coughs> sorry i'm finding a little cold but this indicates the <coughs> battery percentage see that it's pretty cool right this is definitely well built all metal so small so sleek i like this too so if you want to like lay it down to type on it holds it firm without scratching the metal um so if you detach it, by the way, it's kind of a pain to do, but if you detach it, this becomes a tablet on its own right here, right? So this is the tablet and it's a fine looking tablet. It's all metal, pretty sturdy. It's not light, it's not that light, but it's pretty sturdy in the hand. It feels good. The bezels, some people complain about the bezels, but personally, I don't mind the bezels. Um, I think it's good because when you hold it like this, you're not touching the screen. And this keyboard does not come with it. This is sold separately, but I think this keyboard is one of the best um, keyboards I've seen for a tablet and I'll show you why the f when you do this it detaches it's like metal on it and then all you have to do is like pull it up and look at the flexibility of this like you can type like this pull it up more as you can see in the back pull it and it goes so just hold it and you can like shake this it's it's like pretty sturdy it's very well built very creative google this looks really good the keys are pretty close together as you can see here but they work you know um i can show you guys type something on just google docs real quick um start a new note I already wrote this, testing out the keyboard. So, hello, how are you today? Oops, typo. Are you having a good day? So, pretty cramped, but you know, if you're just trying to send out a little email, short email or reply to a message it's not too bad but if you're trying to do like a three-page school um you know paper essay your fingers will definitely need to take a break after a while um so yeah let me just give you an overview um so this is this device is currently running it has the tegra um X1 chipset in here. So this is the same NVIDIA chipset that powers um, the NVIDIA Shield TV. So it's it's a really fast um, chipset. I haven't experienced any lag. Everything is pretty snappy and the stock Android as well. So you know how that goes. There's no bloatware. It's pretty, pretty 
fast. Everything loads up pretty fast, like with YouTube. Um, so it's not it's not too bad. Um, I'm not gonna show you my pictures, but um, the web browser put this up. It's not that bad looking at cars. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty pretty snappy. I personally I like it a lot. Um, I don't want to show y'all that either. This is my personal laptop, so I have a lot of personal information here. So I gotta be careful with what I show you guys. Um, so yeah, okay. So productivity again. If you're looking to get this, if you're a student and you're looking. Um, you're looking to type notes. Um, I would say this might work for you, but it's it's difficult um, because there's not a lot of space on the keyboard and your fingers will get cramped up. But if you're looking for a multimedia device, right, this is not bad. For instance, let me show you Cody running on this. It plays pretty well again. If um, Cody works well with your NVIDIA Shield TV, it's probably going to work well here because it's run the same chipset. And um, this also has 3 gigs of RAM. So um, I feel like that's, that's a good enough RAM to, you know, do some multitasking things. So when this tablet, and I'll get to this, but when this tablet originally launched, it didn't have Nougat. Um, but with Nougat, you can, um, no, Nougat is the newest one. I think it was the one before Nougat. Yeah, or Nougat. Anyway, I don't know. But you can do the multi-window thing now. So when it comes to productivity, you can run two apps um, right next to each other. And it helps this device um, be more productive if, if you're wanting to do that. So again, multimedia, listen to music, playing movies, um, playing games on here. Um, this this is a killer device for it. Things runs uh, pretty pretty smooth on here. It's pretty fast. Because of copyright issue, I'm not gonna play the whole thing. But as you guys can see here, it runs pretty well. Haven't had any hiccups with this and so <laughs> again there's the google play store here so you're gonna have access to like games and apps and stuff like that so um i've i've played several games here clash of clans uh works pretty well on here um and you know high profile games also works really well in here as well Something that I don't like personally is that we can access NVIDIA games. This being a, an NVIDIA Tegra 1, Tegra uh, X ship, right? X1 ship. The same ship that's powering um, the NVIDIA Shield. You would think that this device would let you play those games, but you can't play um, the NVIDIA Shield games. You can only play android games that are in the app store so that's kind of a bummer um so i've had this device for some time uh some time now and people are asking is this worth it for the price so this came out 2015 of december and the price has not dropped at all okay the price is still 4.99 for the tablet and 150 for actually let me just confirm that 150 for the keyboard so all together you're looking at um you're looking at 550 for everything okay google pixel oh gosh pixel price pixel c price <laughs> okay, actually, it's five. Holy smokes! Wow. So this is five ninety nine, just the tablet alone. 
um, by itself. And then with the keyboard, it's an extra 150. So you're looking at, geez, Louise, 750 bucks for this device. Okay, that even makes my opinion. Okay, so with that said, um, I don't think this device is worth 750 bucks. I don't know what Google was thinking. Um, it's as you guys can see, the build quality is great. I mean, it looks it looks really cool. It's all metal. The camera is decent. Um, it has speakers here for Google. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, so you can talk to it like um, Google Assistant. Let me show you guys the multi-window feature here, so you guys can see um, what that's all about. So as you guys can see, you can run two apps at once. Um, I don't want to show y'all my personal info. Gosh. Um, but yeah, that's the multi-window, running two apps at once. Um, is it worth it? I don't think so. Okay, because for 750, I feel like you can get a Surface Pro. Um, they're currently right right now running for um, the M processors running for 698, I believe, right now on Amazon. So you can get a Surface Pro, which I think with a keyboard you can definitely do more than this. You know, you can do it this, um, and you can get I so my personal opinion is getting a Chromebook um, and I think that's what I'm going to do with this I'm gonna trade it in and get a Chromebook because I feel with a Chromebook I can you Chrome OS you can be productive with and then with the integration of Chrome running Android apps now it's just like a tablet so if you have um, if you were to buy like a touchscreen um, Chromebook that flips, that it becomes this. And with the Samsung, it's a 12 inch screen. So it's actually a bigger screen and it gives you a wider keyboard. Um, so personally, I would recommend getting a Chromebook over this, uh, especially for the price you can get um, the Samsung Chromebook Plus for I believe is four hundred fifty dollars, which is three hundred dollars less than this, right? Am I doing the math right? About yeah, about three hundred dollars less than this. Totally worth it because that runs Android apps and also runs Chrome OS. And my other biggest complaint with this is when it comes to being a good tablet, Android tablet. A lot, not a lot, but some apps are not optimized to run on tablets, some Android apps. For instance, Studios, if I open it, it's still sideways here, so it, it doesn't flip. So this is how you'd have to navigate it, and it's, it's really annoying. And some other apps do that too. Um, so my personal take, again, this is my personal opinion, I wouldn't recommend paying the full price for this device. Now, if you can find this device and sell, which I did, you guys won't believe how much I paid for this tablet. Um, some guy on, on Craigslist was just trying to get rid of it, and I actually bought this tablet from him with the keyboard for 100 bucks. I know crazy right so yeah i got this for 100 bucks and to me i feel like definitely it's worth the price that i paid for it but i wouldn't recommend you guys paying 750 bucks for this definitely don't think it's worth it think i think that there's so many other um options there that are cheaper and better my guess with this device is that Google is going to release um, an operating system that combines both uh, Chrome and Android. I feel like Chromebooks right now are testing that out for Google. And I feel like when everything is set and ready, they are going to release an official OS that merges both of them. 
there's been talks about it, there's been rumors, I think it's called Andromeda or something like that, but it's going to be interesting to see what Google announces uh, Google I.O. of this year, because I think that's what this device is designed for, and the fact that this is still selling at the same price on the website, they haven't discontinued it, shows that they're still keeping this for some reason and my reason is they're going to use this device as the driver for that new OS. Um, now if that was to happen then I think this will be worth maybe actually not will but maybe it'll be worth the 750. Um, hopefully by then even they might drop the price in this but when it comes to um, just build quality though, this cannot be rivaled. I think it holds up to Apple and, and Microsoft. It's a beautiful build, but for the price and what it does right now, I don't think it's worth it. All right, guys, if you find this helpful, if you own one, if you're thinking about getting one, just leave a comment to let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys are loving your device and you're, you know, needing me to shut up because you think it's all that, let me know what you like about it because I really want to like this device too. I'm a Googler. I own everything, pretty much Google this. I'm using my Pixel XL to record. I have this. I own the Chromebook. I didn't use it much. Um, but yeah, so I'm a Googler. I love Google product. And yeah, so I'm not bashing this. I just think Google dropped the ball on this and they can do better. So yeah, let me know what you guys thinks, uh, think. Uh, Till next time. Later, guys.